question number three, thirty six and twenty seven. So in previous problem we have written the factors of thirty six, right? Let us write again. So thirty six divisible by one, two, three, four, six, nine, twelve, eighteen, and thirty six, right? So these are the factors of thirty six. Now let us write the factors of twenty seven. So from one it is divisible. Next from two it is not divisible. Then from three it is divisible. Then from four it is not divisible. From five also it is not divisible. From six it is not divisible. From seven it is not divisible. From eight no. Then from nine it is divisible. From ten no. Next eleven, twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, from sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So the last factor is twenty-seven, right? Now let us find out the common factor of thirty-six and twenty-seven. So one is the factor of both numbers, and then next one is nine is the factor of. Common factor of both numbers, so that the one and nine is the common factor of thirty six and twenty seven, right? Now in these two common factors, which is greater, nine is greater, right? So the highest of the common factor is nine, so that so the HCF of thirty six and twenty seven is nine. Got it, children? And the next question number four. Twenty-four and thirty-two. The factors of twenty-four are one, two, three, four. From five, it is not divisible because of if the number is divisible by five, we should have zero or five in the one place, right? So that it is not divisible. Next, from six, yes, it is divisible. From seven, no, it is not divisible. From eight, yes, it is divisible. From nine, it is not divisible. From ten, it is not divisible. From eleven, no. From twelve, yes, it is divisible. Next, from last, the factor is twenty-four. It is divisible by twenty-four. Next, the factors of thirty-two are one, two. Then, from three, it is divisible or not? From three, it is not divisible. Next, from four it is divisible. Next, from eight it is divisible. Next, from sixteen it is divisible, and then from thirty-two it is divisible. Right? Now, which is a common factor of uh, these two fa factors? Which is a common factors? So one is common. Next two is common, and next four is common, and then next eight is common. Right? So let us write the common factors of twenty-four and thirty-two. So one. Two, four, and eight. So among these common factors, which is greater? Eight is greatest, right? So the highest common factor is eight. So that the HCF of twenty-four and thirty-two is eight. Got it, children? And the next question number five, twenty-three and fifteen. The factors of twenty-three are one, and it is divisible by by next. From two, it is not divisible. From three, it is not divisible. Next, from four, no. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it is divisible by only one and twenty-three. Next, the factors of fifteen are one, three, five, and fifteen. Right. So next, write down the common factors of twenty-three and fifteen. So which is common in both? Factors one is common, right? So let us write the common factors of twenty-three and fifteen. Are one is the common factor. So the highest common factor is one. The highest common factor is one. Then so that the HCF of twenty-three and fifteen is one itself. Got it, children? So here the factors of twenty-three are one and itself only. So it is twenty three is not divisible by, except these two factors. It is not divisible by any other number. So that the factors of twenty three are one and twenty three, 
and the factors of 15 are 1, 3, 5, 15. Both the common factors are in both are 1 and 1. So the highest common factor is 1. Okay. So in next session, we'll discuss question number 2, 3, 4 and 5. Thank you.